the importance of building a strong brand. So to build a brand, you need an element of like long-term thinking. We, this can be, I guess, communicated to people in different ways. And if you go on like Big Reputation's website, and obviously we're called Big Reputation because people understand that a reputation can take years to build. They don't think about brands being a reputation though. They just think that they can launch a logo and now we're a brand. It's like, no, it's not kind of how that works. Um, we talk about building legacies, which again, isn't just an overnight thing. So many people, I think now because of social media or just complete misconceptions, think that, oh, I can launch a business and then it's going to be an overnight success. Being able, I think, to actually think, actually, no, I want to create a strong brand. This is something that I need to invest in and will take time. Really requires people that are going to show up consistently, do the difficult things day in, day out, have a long-term vision and really want to get there. And it really does make a difference when we talk about marketing and sales alignment. And I do this a lot with my clients to get the salespeople to start thinking in that way instead of just like, I really need to do this to hit next month's quarter so I get my commission. And it gets everyone then aligned thinking in the same way and doing the best for the business, not just the best thing for this quarter's numbers. I wholeheartedly agree. Um, there, there's no better time to plant an orchard. If you didn't plant one 20 years ago, there's no better time to plant an orchard than today, right? Otherwise, you're never going to ever yeah. reap the benefits of that orchard. And yet so many people manage to procrastinate and deprioritize anything that doesn't drive them results today. And I think that as much a sign of the times as, as anything else, you know, where we're driven by, driven by mobile phones and endorphin rushes and what can it, where we're instantly expecting everything to happen now and Amazon delivers tomorrow and might get it to deliver tonight. And we go into business with the same expectations. Well, if I put enough hard work in today on the things that I can drive today, I'll get results today and then I'll feel better when I get home tonight. It's great. But short-term results are really time and effort intensive. Whereas the long-term stuff, if you build it right from the beginning, it becomes incrementally better. And before you know it, yeah. you've delivered fantastic results with, like, while you sleep. Because you've done the right things from the start. So I, I really resonate with what you've said there, Chelsea. I love that. Focus and delayed gratification are actually now considered superpowers because not many people have them before. Yeah. Especially if you're ADHD like me. And, or, focus. Um, hang on a second while I go and edit this video. Um, but no, it's, it's, it, it's true. And, you know, when you think that, you know, I talk about video, you know, You've got five seconds maximum, probably more like three to catch a people's attention these days. That's outrageous to think about. And, and so when you're thinking about long-term results, like anything longer than today really becomes mid, mid-term results at least. Um, lovely. I, I, love, I love the points that you've made today, Charles. 